what's going on warriors welcome to another video from the warrior collective and today's video is going to be a little different than um some other topics that we had planned initially um we were kind of starting a series on your everyday carry items um smaller things to think about when you're making your your kits and your bags and you know your storage and your weapons and ammo and all that fun stuff with the current events that have been unfolding um over the last several months and even more recently with things like the the tornadoes that hit the midwest as well as um bird flu the rail line issues and you name it all of these situations have been kind of adding up and they may all be coincidences and or they may be something bigger at foot we don't know but it's better to be prepared than not be so we wanted to make a video to go over those three main items that you really should be focusing on right now either making sure you get together or that you're topping off if you already have them and making sure everything's good to go so let's go ahead and dive into the video and we'll see you on the other side. All right, so the first of these three categories is gonna be food, which is an obvious one, but food is obviously very important, um, especially for not just yourself, but for your entire family. So with food, stock up as you go to the grocery store, um, grab a few extra items when you're just doing your normal weekly grocery shopping, um, buy long-term items that you and your family do enjoy. So if there's canned food that you like, like tuna or chicken, or certain vegetables or fruits, things like that. Stock up on those items. Um, if you go to one of like the big box stores or big box stores like Costco or Sam's Club, buy you know a case of canned peaches, the, those sorts of things. Buy things that have long-term shelf life that your family does enjoy because getting your kids to eat things that they don't enjoy, even in a disaster, it, it's going to be difficult. So buy things that you know everyone does enjoy to some extent that everyone will at least try to eat when they can. So along with that, also, if you can start learning how to grow your own vegetables, grow your own fruits, um, start share, you know, crop sharing with other people that you know, in your family and friends, um, as well as, you know, it doesn't hurt stocking up on extra items that you have, because even if you may not use them, or if they're too, you have too many extra items, you can always use them to trade with someone else in a disaster situation, or at least you can try to. Um, but yeah, stock up on your food. Top off those those food items you have if you already have a bunch saved up. Um, start planting some crops. You know, gather what you need and prepare what you need for that situation in regards to food because food is obviously going to be a very important item. All right, so the next one's going to be water because without we can't su survive without water. That's pretty basic knowledge that everyone knows. Um, food is obviously important, but water is even more important than that. So start setting up filtration systems. Um, get uh, Sawyer filters, they're fantastic as well as backup items. Set up rain ca catches if you can. Um, and in some areas, depending on your borough or district, they may not like that, but try and do what you can in that area. Um, and use them for, you know, you can use that to, to water your gardens or you can purify the water, boil it, you know, use those Sawyer filters. There's tons of options out there, um, as well as just buying cases of water here and there. Water in cases is not exp very expensive, I guess, depending on the area you might be in. Grab a case or two of water as you go. Um, if you're at the store, if you have a couple extra bucks, buy a case of water. Buy a gallon of water. Buy cases of gallons of water. There's plenty of options. Just stock up on water. Make sure that you have it available and that you're rotating it out and it's being used so that way it doesn't go, um, doesn't get contaminated or anything along those lines. So water. Water is very important. All right. And lastly, the third one is going to be medical items. Um, have extras of all of the usual suspects of medical items that you have around your house, like Tylenol, Ibuprofen, Aspirin, uh, Pepto-Bismol, Tums, Imodium AD. Imodium is very good just so you don't get dehydrated from diarrhea. So get that one. It's good. Uh, if you can also get antibiotics, antibiotics are also a great one to have on hand as well um, because you might not be able to get to a doctor or a pharmacy. So if you have antibiotics that you're able to, to store up from whatever, do so. Um, as well as expand it beyond that. Make sure you have like hydrogen peroxide to clean as well for other medical uses, um, gauze, band-aids, Q-tips, antibiotic ointments, um, hydrocortisone, tapes to hold everything together. You know, you don't need to go into a full emergency trauma kit, but having all of the basic items and extras of those items are a really important thing to have because even if you get a small cut or something, you need to make sure it's clean and that you're taking care of it so it doesn't get infected because if it gets infected in a disaster situation, that could be the end. So make sure you're tapped up, you're top tapped up, make sure you're topped up um, on all of your medical um, items that you have in your house. Also an important one I want to mention here is if you have kids that have um, asthma or breathing issues, 
try and make sure that you have extras of their inhalers if possible. Some some doctors and pharmacies will let you do that and they'll have multiple spares on hand. Um, we have a child that does have asthma, so we keep an extra inhaler always on hand that we don't use just in case, as well as we have a nebulizer that in a real emergency that we need, um, we have that on hand as well. So keep those things in mind too for those of you that have special needs uh, medications. Try and do what you can to have extras on hand. Um, so a lot of doctors, if you tell them you need it for an emergency situation, just as, as a backup that you have on hand, a lot of them are understanding of that and will usually prescribe something in that manner. So keep that in mind as well. All right, so that does it for those three items. Now, above all of this, learn as much as you can about all of these topics, about your food, your water systems, your medical needs. Learn as much as you can. There are thousands of books and resources out there. Um, if you go over to our Facebook page, we do have a few posted over there that are recommended by us. Go check that out. The link is going to be in the description as well. It's also on the, the YouTube uh, channel page. But learn about these these topics. Uh, study them in depth. Find ways that you can you know, grow food. If you don't know how to plant vegetables and take care of them, learn. It's It's not really overly complicated. So learn about the things that you have. Um, you know, watch videos from other people that are homesteading get into that homesteader mindset of making sure you have what you need in store um you know you're not going to be able to learn every little detail because sometimes there's just not enough time to lay everything out but take from this and learn grow and train and learn that's kind of the the main point that we put across in these videos you know, you can have all of the ammo and all the guns that you need, but if you don't have food or water or medical supplies, you could succumb to illness or starvation or thirst, and none of those are good ways. And then you just become a lootable option for someone else to come along and take what you have. So take this video, take the contents we've given to you, and run with it. Go learn, go find some books, study. Don't use Kindle, don't use digital books. Because if something happens, you won't have access to it. So get paperback books. Go to a used bookstore. There's plenty of them out there that have a lot of those great things. Um, as I said on our Facebook page, uh, Metal, our other contributor, has put um, a bunch of books over on there that you can check out. That I highly recommend. Um, he has you know 20 years of experience in doing these types of things. So he's given a lot of good information um, for this video specifically, actually. This is from him um, and his recommendation. So... Go learn some new skills, go touch some grass, go outside, top off your food, water, and medical supplies, and make sure you're ready for what's to come. So also, lastly, and most important of all, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. We have tons more content planned out. We have a Facebook page now. We have a podcast that will be coming soon as well. So stay tuned for more from the Warrior Collective, and remember, prepare, train, and get out there. We'll see you next time.